because I've been tell me your fucking proud because yourself. I've been to fucking prison. Jesus Christ! Because look I've been at to you, prison. Bro. You got ten inch arms and tits. <laughs> Men don't have tits. No, guys. they go to prison where they get. Yeah, where they, they get do. up the ass. You've never been to prison. Look, <laughs> that's what happens. Shit you don't know. They go to prison well, where they get. Now you get your ass beat. Do you front think that that's better? You think that that's better? Let's let him. But Trey, Trey, you hit it on the head though when you said that 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 guy was a different type of guy. Like I, I, I agree with 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 uh, with Rilla. I agree with Trey. At the same time, it, it depends on what type of man it is that you are, in my opinion, to handle that situation. Because realistically, just from my experience from being around guys like like dude, if he was to have stood up, he's nothing. Damn near wouldn't have happened. You know what I'm saying? It, it just would have been it, it just would have been one of those deals of where it's like you think I'm soft, but I'm not soft. And then it's respect after that. You know what I'm saying? We we see that a lot of times in the hood. So and at the same time, with him knowing that this white guy, that this white guy uh, is is somebody that is going to stand that's going to. You know what I'm saying? Sit back. Even just peeping his uh his body language, you know what I'm saying, with him lean forward. He was uncomfortable. So he saw that. So he he was becoming a predator. You know, I I see that you uncomfortable. I'm gonna continue to push you to see where it is that I can take you. So I, I think that it was one of those deals where he was where he was gauging how he was gonna react to it. Now, I I again I agree with both sides. I, I think that is one of those deals of where you have to make the decision of all right, either I'm gonna take this approach to it or I'm gonna take this approach to it. And either way, I gotta deal with the consequences of what comes from it. Man, he chose, he could have had civil discourse with the man. He starts sizing him up, talking about his arms, talking disrespectful and trying to belittle the man because he expressed what type of happiness he found within family and not having much, but he was good with where he was. This goes back to you saying, you feel that men should rank and fit certain standards. Everybody's path is different. And I will always give you them elitist lashes across your back, like Django, every time you bring it up, because it's no, unnecessary. No. It is no, unnecessary. I, what, what, you watch the I man said, once he, allow me I to get mine off, is You understand? No, let, let, what allow I me said to get mine's was, off. Oh, I didn't cut you off. Allow off. me to get mine. <laughs> I like your shirt. I like that poet. Nice. Cool out. So here, yes, here's bro. what we're going to do. You jump off and try to disrespect the next man. You try to belittle him. And then that's the type of man that you would want to follow. Then, then you point out ranking. Everybody has to run their race. And I will keep telling you using the leaders until you wish to have introspection. Hink, Hink does what Hink does. Rilla does what Rilla does. Trigger like shooting stuff. You know, Louis, you know, Latin lover. Of course. Get all the ladies. Do your thing. You like it. I love it. Trev Smooth. All Shout of us are a different lady. dynamic, but we are men. We're, we're moving in different directions, but we come... We come within that that fire in the village and talk about what we are. We can't be ranked the same. This ain't no military. You understand? Everybody gonna I live agree. differently. That's like you saying, Mahatma Gandhi for being poor, he couldn't give you something to think about and employ in your life. The, Nelson Mandela, he couldn't come up to you and you had more money than him. And he couldn't give you something to impart within your life to pass on to your village because he, his financial status didn't match yours. Everything that revolved around baldy locks and them tight pants was money. <laughs> money. Hold on. So you talking to me? Hey, so again, what? Well, let me, what let I me say, that if revolved that, around baldy uh, locks. If you gonna talk, if you gonna talk to me, let me address them. Baldy first locks. All, that was having. First of all, your guy. Okay, let me put the name because it seems you're not following. Wes. Wes Watson. I'm not talking about you. I'm bald just like you. So why would you feel the way? You just light skin. Yeah, I just like, asked you, where are you talking to me? And I was just trying to I said, Wes Watson. Would you about to show me your lawn again with your sprinklers? Huh? Just, I'm just, uh, oh, you saw that picture, huh? Oh, yeah, that's nice. You was trying to stunt. I see through everything. Oh, you play games, uh, 
How am I trying to stunt when I install yeah, my own sprinklers? Man, folks in the sprinklers, bro. Let's stay on topic. Come on, Diddy. You brought it, you you brought it towards to... the sprinkle, sprinkle oh, system. You. I was trying to address what you saying. You're the one going off topic. <laughs> hey, Hank, that nigga is the gooch, man. <laughs> oh, he derail, he that's derail, my dog he right there. The conversation. That's my goddamn dog. The thing I wanted to address was you said that this ain't no military. Everybody can't rank the same, which was, I think, was just ignorant statement because everybody in the military don't rank the same. And then when it just, in the context of when I made the statement about rank, you gave, seeing where you, you gave, rank, you gave oh, age, you gave age parameters. What you love this, you love to tell in a given you age. Love to tell did you or did you not? Actually speaking, what he's saying out of his own mouth while he's speaking, which is beyond me. Like Repeat I'm that. literally telling you what I said, but you want to cut me off to tell me what I said. Like make that okay. Let me. I let didn't cut you off. Because you babble sometimes, then you then you you realize you deal. I thought with I was me. actually coming to a point, and I think the things I was saying was coming across understood. You said I was ignorant for pointing out that you use age brackets. Of course, you have different ranks within the military. You said I feel that men between eighteen and twenty-five, let's take that, should be at a certain point. I couldn't I couldn't get it together between eighteen and twenty-five. But guess what? Mark Zuckerberg could. Sorry, sorry for you. Wait, wait, wait. Mark Zuckerberg I didn't, could. I didn't say Does that make him more man than I me. Say, sorry for you, but I didn't say that you had to have it together between eighteen to twenty-five. I you said they should be at a certain point. Is that I not what you said? Eight, I said between eighteen and twenty-three, you're either in the military or you're in college or high school, and then once you get to twenty-five, you should be starting your career. So, so everything twenty five still living so, with your moms. I'm I'm sorry if that triggered you. Wait, at twenty five, yeah, so Kenny, you you saying that you that there shouldn't be some type of measurement for for men at 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 a certain age? I said that you, meaning Wes Watson, should not tell another man where he should be because he diminishes the lower. He said you got to be top ten percent. Or so you can't Kenny, tell him nothing. So Kenny, you're not achieving not, nothing. You're not we doing not tell, anything. Should we not tell a uh, young man that are that's that's 18 or that's in high school that they should get their high school diploma and not drop? I never out? said that. I, I never mean, said but that. But, but that's, the answer but your kind question. Of the same thing, no. Okay, so you ask the question, but you don't want to answer. You want to run on. So no, now. I, if, you, gave, asked you asked me something, did you not? Yeah, go ahead, answer it. Okay, so if I see that you can't do a high school diploma, I'm putting you in a trade. Maybe high school is not the thing for you. Maybe you need to go to a vacation, vocational. Maybe you need to go to job corps. Maybe this disinterests you. We're so in line with what they tell you you need to complete. I had skills before while I was in high school because my, my grandfather and my uncle, they were carpenters. Come with me. Let me teach you a little something that you could use. I had a cousin who was a plumber. Come work with me while I was in high school. But see, the thing is, of course, we need to be aligned with what they they make the rules. If they say you need to have an ID, who is they? A high school. Who if they? If the work. The they world. Said society said our, our own society. Said. School, okay, so so you have this. To have a, a driver license. You have to have a driver license to operate a vehicle. You go out and get your driver license. I don't understand why we haven't. Okay, driver's license. You went from from former education. Former education. Did no, Einstein? Wait, wait, wait. Did Einstein? Hold on. Did Einstein finish high school? Oh my god. <laughs> I, hey, I that's, that's, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, I got this clip I want to play. So there was a great neuroscientist, his name was Yak Panksepp, P-A-N-K-S-E-P-P, who tragically died a few years ago of cancer. And he distinguished a number of brain systems that we share with other mammals. <clears throat> they include uh, care, he, he capitalized these. So C-A-R-E, care, then something he, call, he calls grief and panic, then fear, lust, seeking, play, and rage. These are all brain systems that we have. They're all necessary for mammalian life. They're all necessary. Now, the, by rage, he means 
the anger that arises when our boundaries are being transgressed. If I were to infringe on your boundaries, either physically or emotionally, the healthy response for you is to mount an anger response. No, get out. Stay away. That's healthy. Healthy anger is in the moment. It protects your boundaries, and then it's gone. It's not necessary anymore. However, if your boundaries were infringed as a child, but you could not express it, it doesn't disappear. It gets suppressed. It becomes almost like a volcano that's gurgling and, 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 and bubbling inside you, but it's had no expression. Now, why did you suppress it? Because if you're being... Well, you've been very public about this, so I'm sure you'll allow me to mention it, but you've... Some time after you and I talked, you actually publicly acknowledged that you'd been sexually abused as a child. I did. Now, when that's happening to a small child, the last thing you can afford is to, is to be angry. Because if you get rageful at the boundary invasion, you're going to get hurt even more. So suppressing that rage becomes a survival mechanism. Nothing wrong with it. It's the right thing to do. You don't do it. Your brain will do it for you automatically as a way of preserving your life or your, or your relative safety. But the rage doesn't go away. What happens then later on as an adult, something triggers you and all of a sudden it just explodes out of you and you have no control over it. Now it's no longer a response, a healthy response to the present moment, but it's a response to the past. And just as my hurt and sense of abandonment and then rage was triggered by my wife not picking me up at the airport, so a person's rage can be triggered by something relatively minor but all of a sudden this lava flow just explodes out of you. And the difference between healthy anger, and by the way, suppressing healthy anger is also unhealthy for you. We can talk about that. But just as healthy anger expresses itself, does its job, and then it's gone, rage, the way such as I'm describing, such as the way I used to experience it and probably as used to experience it, the more it explodes, the bigger it gets. That's what happens to me.